we met yes. at Finnegan's Wake, an Irish pub in downtown Winston, and we ended up on your recommendation. Yeah. I asked. I did not know anything about Winston yeah. when I moved here, so I asked Rebecca. I was like, "Where can we go?" And I gave her like, I was like, "Oh, there's all these great places," and you're like, "I don't know, I don't know," and then you're like, "Well, we'll go to Finnegan's Wake," and and now just fast forward almost two and a half years, and now we're getting yeah. married, and that's really exciting for us, yeah. and you know, have all our family and friends sharing mm -hmm. that. It was nice though, because we got to talk. So. Yeah, we really got to know each other. Yeah. That was great. Mm -hmm. She's so friendly, and I just got that from the moment, you know, we first started talking, and just like when we first met, like I just knew how friendly you were and how easy it was to talk. We were very chatty on our first date and just your smile and that's what kind of drew me. I knew Cody has this very good energy and just your heart, your, Cody is so kind. We started dating in like February, so that was our anniversary at the end of February and then just I think that first year, like just going through all our adventures that we went on, going to the beach, going to the Penn State football games, going to stuff at Christmas, going to Carolina, like just kind of immersing each other in each other's lives. And I think it's all those events come put together. Just every little thing, like we went to Biltmore on one of our first dates in like May when it was like, like this, like real beautiful out. So I think it was really all those moments that I just knew like January, February of 2017 that I knew like, I want to marry Rebecca and I want her to be my wife because she is so wonderful and my family really loved her too. That just made it so much easier, you know. They really do love you, so. And for me, I don't think there was necessarily a moment. I think it was something that kind of built up and over time as we just spent more and more time together, you know, at, at the beginning of the relationship, of course, we, we didn't live right near each other. So we would see each other only, you know, a few what times a, a week or weekends. And then we started to want to spend every single evening together and mm -hmm. to talk every evening and to spend that time. And it just built built up into this really great love and yeah and I knew I didn't want to be without Cody so once I got the engagement ring I had to think like where was the best place and the time and so I felt that on our vacation at Emerald Isle where we're also going on our honeymoon and where we went on our first vacation together would be like the perfect place because it was where we were always really relaxed and it was real special to us because it was like one of the first places that summer we went and that was like our place like we had never been to that part of the North Carolina beaches, at least in that area. And so it was nice, it was like a new chapter for both of us. And after going there probably the first time in 2016, I knew that that's where I, w I wanted it to be. You wanna answer that one first? Yeah, you well I know first. Like first step is we're trying to find a home, <laughs> but, but finding a home and having a family and, and kind of continuing on our, our journey, <laughs> continuing to have adventures and, I know we have our careers too, but yeah. just kind of building all of that together. But I know we have high hopes for, for our family and for kids and more adventures. <laughs> I really look forward to that, taking on that challenge together, not just like we're not, a, we don't do it alone yeah. anymore. We have mm -hmm. it together. And mm -hmm. so that's, a, that's important to me to be on the adventure yeah. together and to mm -hmm. take the challenges yeah. together. So I think it's more rewarding that way. It's really is special to, you know, beat it together. Mm -hmm. My dearest Cody, I feel so grateful to marry you today and embark on yet another amazing adventure with you. You bring so much love and kindness into my life and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Thank you for being my best friend and for always being there for me. You mean so much to me and I cherish every moment of this life we share together. I love the way you make me smile and laugh every day. Thank you for always making me feel loved. I love you with all of my heart and soul. I feel so lucky to become your wife today. Much love, always and forever, Rebecca. To my blushing bride, I can't believe that our wedding day is finally here. Our entire lives are ahead of us, and I wouldn't want to share it with anyone else. The feeling of joy and happiness that we share is something truly special. I want you to know that I cherish it deeply. I know that our adventure will be filled with lots of laughter and love. I love you so much. Here's to a lifetime of love and happiness. See you at the altar. Love, 
your husband to be Cody. Welcome to this most joyous day, the first in a lifetime of happiness for Cody and Rebecca. Begin by first sharing the special vows you have written for one another. Rebecca, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. You are my rock and my one true love, my soulmate and my best friend. I will always support, cherish, and respect you. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Cody, I vow to cherish your heart, soul, kindness, and love that you so generously share with me every day. I vow to believe in you, respect you, and support you as you pursue your dreams. I vow to be your best friend and stand by your side through good times and tough times. I vow to appreciate every adventure and joyous moment that we spend together. I vow to love you always. I feel so privileged to have been, have seen Becca and Cody's relationship uh, and their love story grow and turn into the wonderful celebration that brings us here today. Um, I'm so honored to have been able to stand by your side today. Um, Becca, you're in all seriousness, you're one of the kindest, most good-hearted people I've ever known and I'm so grateful I got to stand by your side today. And Cody, thank you for being you, thank you for treating my friend like she's gold and for adoring her and appreciating her and I'm so glad you guys found each other. Wish you guys the best and I'm so excited to see what lies ahead for you in this next adventure of marriage. When he started dating Rebecca, you could tell that there was something definitely different in him. When I started talking to him, and he, he basically couldn't stop smiling when they were together, you can know that basically it wasn't a fake relationship, that, that this was made for the long haul. I think when you look at people and they have that inner glow, that light, I think that was the main reason I thought that this was going to be pretty much something special. Um, but if you look actually beneath what light actually does, it gives you insight. It gives you perspective and it gives you hope. And I think all those three qualities are something that both Rebecca and Cody give each other. I wish to both of them a, a whole life of happiness, love, and light. And there's no doubt that uh, you know there's, there's nothing but the best in the future for both of them.